Hi, it's Denise from Wonderland Boutique and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to progress forward in your bow making journey and learn the first bow that I actually ever learned uh, during my bow making progress, which is that of a bow tie bow. So you can see this. This is considered a bow tie bow. I know it has other names. Um, not totally sure what they all are, but I call it a bow tie bow. Uh, once you master this style, it will also lead you to the ability to make an additional style, which I will, yeah, I was just making sure it wasn't upside down, which I will show in another video. But once you get the basics down with the bow tie bow, you'll definitely be able to um, move on to what I call a medium sized bow. It will also help you in learning how to make um, a smaller bow using seven eight inch ribbon but today what we're going to be using is one and a half inch ribbon uh, I prefer grow grain you can use um, like silk and other material but I personally prefer grow grain uh, which usually it will tell you on the labels if it's grow grain or not I've heard other people call it gross grain gross grain I call it grow grain maybe I'm wrong but that's what I call it so grow grain you can tell the material if you take a look oops usually has lines in it um, it is polyester you don't want to get it wet I can tell you that much this is an old spool that I purchased at Hobby Lobby I know I used a coupon or I used or I bought it when it was 50% uh, off which I frequently do I love Hobby Lobby it is one of my many many stops for bow supplies love love Hobby Lobby I think I could live there easily like as long as I could raid their vending machines and maybe have some food slid under the door I would be one happy maker living at Hobby Lobby the next thing you're gonna need for today is coordinating ribbon 3 8 inch I chose the apple green because I think it will accent this design very nicely so you can see it'll make that green pop and that's what I'm going to use as my center and that's what I'm going to use to line my alligator clip a couple other supplies you'll need today lighter of your choice I'm using just a Bic lighter scissors any size I would definitely get a measuring tape or a ruler or whatever you have to measure at home and you need your trusty handy dandy hot glue gun old faithful for me as I said before like I said it's it's a little Ill, a little rough looking I'm not gonna lie but it's because it gets used I, I'm not using some fake hot glue gun for these tutorials these are my real life hot glue gun and supplies so if it doesn't look the best it's because it's well loved and used so nothing fake around here and then we'll be able to get started oh and don't forget you need an alligator clip or whatever clip you wish to utilize for our bow making today so i'm going to go ahead and zoom in so that we can get a closer look of the progress and don't forget to comment below and you know share pictures with me of your completed bows that you've made from the tutorial on either instagram or facebook make sure you're following wonderland boutique on both everything will be linked down below uh you know if you have any questions as you're going along definitely leave me comments send me a message I'm happy to help I started out not knowing how to do bows myself and I've learned over the years so I'm really happy to share my knowledge with other makers and crafters like you so we'll zoom in and get started all right welcome back makers and crafters so I have everything set up for our first steps with the bow tie bow I left these examples up here so you could see what the finished product looks like I also have three different styles of finishes on those for those centers this one is a French knot so you can see what that looks like that's a French knot center this is a basic knot center I'm excuse me not even a knot this is a basic wraparound center and this one I used glitter ribbon on now you can always enhance these and do and put centers on them and things like that but for this video we're just going to be learning how to do a basic bow tie bow so first things first use your tool for measuring I'm using a seamstress ruler uh, what you're going to want to do to make this size bow tie you're actually going to need six inches which then will make the finished bow three inches in size now you can make these in mini versions as well 
I use five inches if I'm going to make a mini bow. And that's usually for the itty bitties or they look really cute on dogs. So there's a lot of different things you can do. So you're gonna need six inches of the one and a half inch ribbon. Now I went and grabbed my bigger scissors just because it is easier to cut the one and a half inch ribbon that way. So uh, this, this looks a little crummy. So I'm gonna cut this part off. So I don't, I don't want it starting crummy. All right, so I'm gonna measure this out at six inches, okay? Now, it doesn't have to be 110% exact in my opinion. If you're off a little, it's okay. You're both still gonna look cute. <clears throat> now, first step, what we learned in the step one video is you need to fray check both your ends of your bow. You do not want this fraying out especially after you've made it. Okay, so run your lighter on both ends. Make sure it's nice and frayed. Unfrayed, I should say. <clears throat> so your first step, let me move this out of the way. You're gonna wanna find the center. And how do you find the center? Fold it in half, match up both your ends, and put a nice crease in that middle. So push your nail in it, no, it's not gonna hurt anything, and make a good crease. Okay, you see that crease in there now? And that's where we're gonna run our glue, right along that crease. So put your glue right down the middle, don't overdo it because you don't want glue oozing out. Then you're gonna take each end and you're going to meet it in the middle of that glue, of that line. So. You're making it in half. I didn't really put enough glue because I'm trying to be conservative. So let me put a little more on. Okay. And half that side as well. Push it down. Okay. Now you have your bow, right? This is about what your finished size is going to look like. Okay. So now you have your front and your back with that crease. Now what you're going to want to do is fold it in half lengthwise or I like to say hot dog style I learned hot dog and hamburger style in school did anybody else or am I the only one I feel like I'm the only one half the time okay so fold it in half hot dog style right you're gonna want to then put a dab of glue right in that middle so you've basically made like a crosshair of where it's in half on both sides so then you're gonna make a little dot don't put too much because this is actually the side of the bow that faces out that people see so you don't want to overdo that glue and then you're gonna push it together apply some pressure okay so now you have a center gathered right now you're gonna want to take glue and put glue on this side and this side and then you're going to fold them over so let me show you. So uh, taking my hot glue gun, put in a dab here. Okay, there's my glue. And I'm folding that into the center and pressing. Okay, you see that? And then I'm gonna do the exact same thing on this side. So I'm gonna put my glue right here. Okay, there's my glue and press it into the center as well. And then give both sides a nice squeeze just to make sure that glue is good and tight. Okay, can you see how the bow is forming? Now this is the back of the bow. And if you flip it over, this is your front of the bow. See, so you can see the center. That's why we do a center of the bow that's why we do a center with that green to cover that and to get it to stick to the alligator clip. So if you watched my first video, you'll see how to line an alligator clip. I'm using this green ribbon, 3 8 inch ribbon, which you can get from anywhere. I think just about every hobby store sells 3 8 inch, 3 8 inch ribbon. Um, I buy a mixture of things from online, Hobby Lobby, Joanne Fabrics, Michaels, I kind of shop at all the places. 
So I call it my trifecta where I go to Hobby Lobby, Michaels, and Joanne Fabrics all in the same day. It's dangerous, but it's my trifecta of shopping because they're my favorite stores. So I'm just lining the alligator clip because I, like I said, I think this light, this lime green is gonna look really good with our one and a half inch ribbon. It's really gonna make it pop. Okay, I'm gonna use my smaller scissors, just cut off that little extra. And if you didn't watch video one, I will link it down below for you so that you can see how to line this alligator clip because I did go over it in all the steps with close-ups and explanation. So now that I have my alligator clip and my bow tie, we need to put it together. So then what you do is you take your bow tie, here's the front again, and I have glue, not glue hanging off of me. So here's my front. I wanna focus on the back, right? Because I wanna put the alligator clip on the back so it'll look like this, okay? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna run your hot glue right across the back on that center line you made. And that's where the alligator clip's gonna go. Now you don't wanna gob on your glue, but you do wanna be generous with it. And then you're gonna take your alligator clip and apply to the center. You apply a little pressure, make sure it's nice and firm. All right, so this is what your bow looks like from the front. You can still kind of see a little bit of the alligator clip, but we're going to put our center on and close that up. So there's a couple different ways you can start your center. It's totally up to you. I usually start mine from the back with my 3 8 inch ribbon. Okay, what I do is I put down the 3 8 inch ribbon with glue right in the middle of my clip. Okay. Apply pressure. All right, and then what I do is I check what is it gonna look like when I wrap it around the front. See, that's what it's gonna look like completed. No more seeing the back of the clip, no more seeing the excess material. If anybody has any tips and tricks to get the hot glue stringies off, I know there's the whole hair dryer thing. Drives me nuts. Okay, so I applied glue to the back of the, the clip on this side because I'm going to take my ribbon, I'm gonna pull it tight, and I'm gonna wrap it around to the back of the bow, and then I'm gonna put it right over that glue, and I'm gonna push down on it with my hand. Yeah, comment below if you have tips and tricks to get rid of the stringy glue. It drives me nuts, I hate it so much. Um, like I said, I'm sure there's tips and tricks, I just don't know them. Okay, so then what you wanna do is you have this leftover tail of the 3 8 inch ribbon. You wanna cut that off but you wanna make sure you're cutting it off on the back of the bow so that you don't have any overhang, okay? So there it is. And then again, fray check, fray check, fray check. Fray check that material, that 3 8 that was cut off, all right? And then let's take a look. You just made your first bow tie bow. Congratulations, look how cute it is, yay! And then here it is on the back. Again, if you need to watch my first video on how to line an alligator clip, I will link it down below. What I think from this point forward, like I said, this is a, a basic bow. This is a great bow to get started with. The way to go, makers. You made your first bow tie bow. All right, welcome back. Great job on making your first bow tie bow. Here it is again, just for a little reference at this little guy. How cute is that? And then here's the back. Again, if you need how to line an alligator clip, I will link it in the description. Way to go. If you followed this and you made your first bow tie bow, I'm so proud of you. This was the first one I ever made as a maker. And I'll tell you what, in the beginning, they look like crap. They were rough. Um, I came across some that I made in the very beginning and they made their way to the garbage because they were disgusting. So if you made your bow tie bow, 
please shoot me a picture of it on Instagram or Facebook. I'd love to see it. Um, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment below as well, and make sure you're following Wonderland Boutique on Facebook and Instagram. We have a great community of fellow makers and crafters and just friends and family that enjoy making and creating. So come along, get to know all of us, and make sure to show me your, your first bow tie bow, or if you've made several, show me your style of bow tie bows. I would love to see it. So thank you so much for stopping by today, and I hope to see you again real soon. Bye-bye.